Well, here we go. A vertical garden. And it's going to be a pizza garden. Oh! But it worked out fantastic. This is Robbie from Southern California. So here's a video of my pizza garden, which is made out of buckets. It's actually a fabulous vertical garden. I bought a lot of buckets of all different colors, and I was trying to decide how I was going to do my first vertical garden out of buckets. But I finally did decide I wanted a pizza garden. I make a lot of pizza, and I wanted something I could just walk over and know that all my herbs are there. A lazy way of picking your garden, but you know, everything will be there. And here I'll even explain to you why I designed it this way. And I'm going to keep this short because if I put the whole video up, you'd be sitting here for three hours. So this is why I'm narrating it. So enjoy this and you'll see how I put my pizza garden together. Just for me, I think I'm going to put the writing on the back because they all have writing. So I put it on the back and I put it like that and you won't see it. And keep the handles on the side in case I still want to grab them later and move them for some reason. So if I put the handles in the back and I've got plants, it's harder to get to them. But if the handles are outright and get them, so it will look nice. All the writing's on the back, yet it's easy to grab. So I've got the handles on the outside. Now we've got to make this thing a little bit more stable. So let's make sure it's stable. Got it about three inches away from the wall because there's a slight lip, so I want it on the level cement. And if you're putting something like this on a patio or someplace that has dirt, you can put some stepping stones. This way your buckets will be nice and stable. We're gonna lock these babies in. So this is the way I've decided to set up the buckets. Now I could leave them just the way they are, but here's the thing, they could rock a little bit. The buckets have a lip, very small lip. And I think it gives me just enough stability if I notched it and had the bucket kind of locked in. So that's what I'm gonna carefully do. Let's move this bucket right now. Let's start with this. And so I've gotta decide how much hangover I want, and that's pretty, pretty good. So let me see if I've got a pen or anything on me. I've got all kinds of stuff. Let's see. Do you have a pen? You know what? The bucket on top is too thick. So we're going to have to notch the bottom. I'm going to notch it right here and right here. So here's where I'll take over and try to explain what's going on. Now what you have to do is notch the buckets. Now you don't want to go all the way through because you don't want to create a hole where water is going to drain. You're just taking that little piece off. Most buckets do have a little bit of a lip and we're working on the bottom only. So you're going to be removing basically four notches on the center buckets. This is a three stack. No notches on the bottom buckets. The two red, I'm glad I'm working with colors here. The two red buckets will have, each one will have four notches, which I clearly marked. And you'll see here on the yellow bucket, how I had to work with my soldering iron. You know how I love my soldering iron. And just get a piece out. Now what happens is they stack. They lock like a puzzle, which is fantastic. And see when you put them together, you get more stability that way. Otherwise the buckets can slide. So now they're not sliding. And you can see the notches here and how they're being held onto each bucket. So the buckets are interlocked basically. But we can still do better to make sure we get them more secure on this vertical garden. Now what we need is drain holes. Remember, everything needs drain holes. The water cannot sit there. These are not water plants. So I make drain holes in them so they'll drain to each bucket as much as I can. On the top, the yellow bucket, I put drain holes on both sides. So looking down, you want to make sure that on, you put some holes on each side of the bucket and they will drain into the red buckets. And I do that with a soldering iron. Looking down, I can see, you can kind of see through the bucket a little bit. You can see exactly where to do it. You know, I put four, five, eight holes, whatever you want to make, just make sure it's going to drain, but you want it to drain straight down. So the red buckets, are draining into the bottom buckets. So the, everything is, is draining into each other as far as the two buckets stacked and the yellow bucket. On the bottom, you can put the holes anywhere you want, but remember, they do need drain holes. So what I did was I put holes in the yellow one facing one way and then on the orange ones facing to each other. So this way I had one stream coming down 
through two buckets and another stream coming down the other way. You can put the holes anywhere you want. I put the holes a little bit up so it will retain a little bit of water since we live here in Southern California and we can get quite hot. So I leave about a half an inch of water in it. So I put holes with my soldering iron about a half an inch up on the bottom and I did all three of the buckets. Again, you can put it on the bottom if you want. I just did mine about a half an inch up on the side. So both orange buckets have holes on one side. I didn't do both sides. You can do both sides if you want. I just did one side of the orange bucket and one side on the yellow. Once I was done, I restacked them. And you've got the two oranges here on the bottom, yellow in the middle, and then the two reds, and then a yellow on the top. I went with pizza colors. To me, it looks like pizza. It looks like tomato sauce and cheese and... Well, it's just my thing. Anyways, you can do it any color you want. So the two reds now, they have holes. Now I've got holes on the red buckets going straight down. So one red bucket goes to, it drains into the yellow bucket and the orange bucket. And the other red bucket does the same thing. It drains into the yellow bucket and the orange bucket. So I kind of, it's like a strawberry tower. It's going to all cascade down into the bucket, especially once you water the yellow bucket and the yellow buckets got holes on both sides which drains into the two red buckets now for stability i decided to go with four foot tomato steaks now here what i'm going to do is make a large hole it's going to go through the yellow bucket through the red bucket and into the bottom of the yellow bucket again it's really going to lock it in good. I did explain myself while I was working, and I'm going to let that explain it because I think it could do better than me. And you'll be able to see exactly how I did this. Now you could put a stake through here. Just drop it through both buckets, both sides. And it would come through here and go through to the bottom bucket. So now with the soldering iron, I'm going to make the hole in the yellow bucket on both sides. So there'll be two holes on the top bucket, big enough for the tomato steaks to go through. You could use rebar if you want or something else. Then it's going to go through the two red buckets in the middle. They're each going to have one hole right now. And when it drops through, they will lock into the yellow bucket on the bottom. So now I've got the steaks going through the center bucket, through the red bucket, and into the yellow bucket. Now I'm going to make one more hole here, and it will go through there. So the red bucket will be anchored as well, the two red buckets, to the orange bucket. All we have to do is make a hole. What's so just one hole, and we're done. It will drop straight in. So there it is. That is my pizza garden. It's color themed. I filled it up just like I do all my container gardening around here and making my free soil by maybe just adding some potting soil on the top. And let me tell you something, it's only been set up for just barely a month and I've already got it bursting with plants because the soil is so rich from collecting leaves and putting all that natural matter into the buckets. It is beautiful. The weight from the buckets is holding it. It's not going to go anywhere. And I am so crazy about this that I am building a lot more vertical gardens around here. With that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.